Hello, everyone. Hey. <laughs> Hi. Hello. <laughs> Hello. Works. Yes. Yeah. Are you okay? I'm good. How are you? I'm good. Do you know what? I, my ear, I can't hear very well out of this ear. So I know I keep getting that thing with my ears. Oh no. Get really oh, blocked. Yeah. So I don't know if anyone else has that, but I'm coming. Oh, no. Yeah. So I'm, I'm using my good ears today. <laughs> oh, I've just realized I'm covered in dog slobber. It's so gross. Okay. Change my top now. I've just freshly washed this top. No, no. I just, I just literally taken Misty back to my dad's house, like, because I just run over and be like, "Can I steal her?" And then I just nick her, bring her over to mine so I can have dog cuddles, and then take her back. And she's oh. just, Bob, but I love me. Oh, that's so cute. <laughs> though. Oh, how lovely. That's so cute. <laughs> Ooh. Ooh. <laughs> <laughs> How's day been? It's been good. I just went on a dog walk. I've not really done anything else. I was in this morning and I was reading up on all plants. Very like, not very like, inter not like interesting things okay. to talk about. Like, I've become a crazy plant lady. Fantastic. Um, here's, here's a abena. Oh, lovely. Oh, I love the basket as well. It comes yeah, in. Yeah, this, this is abena. And then okay. I've got Phil downstairs. We've got Rajni downstairs. We've got loads downstairs. Love I've, it. Yeah, I've got loads. So oh, I'm just read about them, how to care for them. Do they require mist? Do they require not? Do they require sunlight? Honestly, oh I've been reading. Oh, gosh. You're going to be a plant expert. <laughs> Honestly. And then after about three hours, I was like, wow, I've been sat here for a very long time. I actually need to, like, get up and, you know, <laughs> go on with my day. So I, I was just like... Do you know what? I'm gonna go on a walk. So I went and got Misty, and we accidentally went on a really long walk. <laughs> I went on a long walk today, actually. Where did you go? I went to just somewhere near me, and um, had a little stroll. And it, we were gone for like a good two to three hours. Oh wow! Is is a lot for me. I I have I didn't wear the right shoes, so I feel like I've got blisters on the bottom of my feet. So that's great. <laughs> but I don't know. I don't know what the weather was like where you are, but it was such a nice day today. Gorgeous. I wore my coat. I've literally like I said, I've just got in. I still even got my coat here, and I literally went out in my coat earlier. Put it on, and I was kind of thinking, oh, it might be a bit chilly. Oh my god, about 10 minutes in, I had to take it off, I was boiling, and then I just walked yeah. all around with no coat on, because I was thinking, why did I even bring it? I didn't realise. Oh, I had to stop <laughs> off and get a takeaway, you know, refreshing smoothie. Oh, <laughs> Oh my god, <laughs> I've got an update. What? Now we've got a roof. You've got, a, got roof? a roof? on the conservatory, there's a Woo! roof on the conservatory, finally everyone, happy days. Happy days! <laughs> We have a roof, the building got a roof. We got a roof, because the roof, the roof, the roof was not yeah. there. Because I didn't, I didn't have another song for it. Um, <laughs> <laughs> so yeah, happy days, the roof. Yes, amazing. That means we actually, if it is like sunny tomorrow, I can actually like go in the conservatory and enjoy the weather. Lovely. Because it's all glass and I'll just be there baking in my oh, little group. Yeah, that's going to be like a little, well, not. A sun trap? No, it will just be like a a sun. No, it will be a sun trap. It will be. Yeah. A sun, it will be a sun. It actually will be. I'm Incredible. all here for it. I can't wait. I'm here for it. I can't we, wait. We find like my parents took off the all the um like on the decking where all the outside furniture is over like winter. They'll like cover it with like waterproof stuff, and it all came off. They were out there this morning having a coffee on the deck, and I was like, what? Summer is coming. <laughs> it's coming. You know, it doesn't, I don't know whether I'll sit here and go like, oh my God, I can't believe it's sunny. Or, oh no, climate change. <laughs> yeah, I know. this. Yeah, that's so true. But like, I'm not complaining because like this, it was, you know, it's not like it wasn't like really warm. It was like a brisk day. Do you know what I mean? Like a it nice, was. like sunny day, but with a nice breeze. Yeah. You could still like, 
yeah, it wasn't really too hot, but fresh. Yeah, put you in a great mood. Because <laughs> yeah. the sun was coming down. Uh, <laughs> you know what? Sometimes I, I don't know about anyone else on here, but I used to think I had that thing called SAD. Oh, yeah. It's, it's like it's a affective it's disorder. Yeah. Because I used to really, like, the weather really, really affected, like, how I felt inside. That's so silly, isn't it? But... No, it's true. It's true. Yeah. And it's, also, that's like an actual, like, the reason it is because it is a disorder, because there actually is a deficiency. Like, because in the winter, well, there's no, like, vitamins and vitamin D. Yes. Because obviously, like, and obviously, like, the days of our sunlight are less. And yeah. Fact, depending on what the job you have, or let's say we were in school or college or whatever, the hours of daylight you saw were minimal. So, so small. Yeah. So, and that's why in the summer, everyone's obviously happier, more engaged, more like, woohoo, because there's so much vitamin D and it just gives people yeah. energy. It does. I feel the energy. I feel like I can conquer anything today. Funny, yeah. <laughs> but there actually is nothing worse when it's like cold, wet, windy, dark outside. And you I just know. like... Yeah, it's the dark thing, like when it gets dark so early or like you have to be up early, it's, you feel like it's the middle of the night. Yeah, it's, I, I do enjoy like the long light days. Me like too. I like waking up and like the sun is low and I just yeah. know it's a warm day oh. and like the sun's out to like 10 o'clock at night. I just, I love those kind oh of days. God, I literally felt, I felt, I felt that. <laughs> I felt like I visualised that whole thing. I felt the sun on my skin. <laughs> I felt those like do you know what is such a lovely time of day in the summer like four or five o'clock or even oh, yeah. six o'clock where like it's it's like not the peak heat but like it's still perfect temperature that's the only time that I could potentially nap when I'm outside yeah, yeah. like I remember last year when we were in lockdown and I'm not going to be wrong, I loved the weather. Like I retained my tan for so long and it was like, but I remember there was one day where it was actually, and I'm going to have to say it, it was too hot. <gasps> you it was, that back. You take it, that back. I know. I take it back. And it was, it was too hot. And I remember going outside and I went straight back inside and Jack was like, are you not going to sit outside? It took me till about half past four to come outside because then it was like, you know, cause like, you know when you go on holiday, yeah, and that best feeling is when you get off the plane, the humidity like it knocks you. Like that is what I was like. That is what I dream about. But this kind of heat was like this, like wet, sticky, muggy, like suffocating type of yeah. heat. Yeah, I live for the humidity. I live to be knocked in the face when I get off the plane. Me I want to feel. You know what I mean, I want to feel that heat. <laughs> I completely. I do remember there were a couple of days, to be fair, where I, I had to keep coming inside because I was like. It's like you can't breathe, isn't it? It's like yeah. the air is like sucked out from. Yeah, it's, I do. I do remember like that. Wet weather. Do you know what I mean? Like our weather's yeah. like wet, and that's what the the issue was. Because if it was like a bit dry, I'd be like, right, okay, I could deal with this because I, I understand it's just hot. But I, I was like, why is it like muggy? Can't deal with that. And do you know what it is as well? Like normally when I when you're on holiday, you've either got a pool or the sea. So as soon as you feel like you're getting overheated, just pop yourself in the water, have a yeah. little swim. You know, yeah. all of that. But I only had a paddling pool that I could put my feet in. <laughs> it's not the same, is it? Oh, sorry. I'm sick. Yeah. I'm going to Bye. 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 Oh, oh. Oh. <laughs> what is happening? No. Oh, my oh, God. No. I can't. I can't. Okay, right, I'm back. I'm, I'm trying to... Okay, I'm back, I'm back, I'm back. Should we see what people are saying about the sun? See if people Let's love... Let's see what people are saying. I think the consensus is people are loving the sun too. Loving the sun. Yeah, yeah loving yeah. the sun. I'm, that's what I'm seeing. There is, a, there is a consensus about the sun. Yeah, everyone's on board. Everyone's on board what tonight. Like, what is like your favourite season? Like, oh, like summer all the way. I think summer, summer for the weather, but I like winter, uh, not winter, I like like spring for the change. Yeah, also I, autumn's, autumn's nice to look at. Yeah. Like the, all the leaves change colour and it's like, looks so pretty, but I think yeah. summer, summer's when I thrive. <laughs> <laughs> I like spring because, I, do you know what I, I absolutely love, because where, where I live is like so many like fields and stuff. 
there's always baby lambs in like end of March, April. And Aww. it's like, I think I was just see all like the baby lambs just like running about, having living the best life. That is and the cutest thing ever. I was like, it's just really cute. I'm not always fond of spring weather though, because it always brings April showers. So I'm not fond of that. Yeah. And but and the through the rain comes the growth. Do you know what I mean? Yeah. Do you know what? It's all part of the cycle, isn't it? Yeah. It's the cycle of life. Man. I remember <laughs> when I was in school, this is so funny. I used to like, me and my friend at the time we used to like if we had to learn something for school we'd make a song of it to let like Ooh. what it was and i remember one night i don't know why this is suddenly pops into my head but i'm gonna share it with you all <laughs> I, for one night i was at hers and we had a geography test <laughs> and we made up a song and dance for the um the water cycle <laughs> oh my god that, do you know what though that is brilliant i can't remember how it went now but i remember that like, we had a whole choreography like it was great and the next day I was like I knew I knew it all for my exam because I was like singing it I could like see it in my head I was like <laughs> that, is, that is such a good idea actually like do you know what I used to do yeah go on and that sort of thing this is a way I think we've talked about this before I yeah. have this thing where if I read something before I go to bed I kind of wake up and it's just like there it's in the brain yeah it's in the brain so i remember i used to sit and i used to spend hours revising and get like really angry and like really upset and be like why won't it go in my head why won't it go and then i'd read it like just before i went to bed and I'd wake up in the morning i'd be like fluent in whatever i've been learning about like, why did i spend why? so many hours stressing when i could have read it for 10 minutes before i went to bed and the next morning i know it all why does it like why does it do that like why what is it about because that I that's the only way I can learn things that quickly is because I've read it so many times before I go to bed and then it's just like in you. I don't maybe wow. there's like, I don't know maybe there's like a like a subconscious a, thing. Like maybe there's a state your brain goes into when you go into bed. Like maybe yeah. No, maybe there's a because obviously I know there's obviously like different parts of your brain and all of that. But like maybe there's like a certain part of your brain that's like more active to like taking on information at that time because i'm because like when you sleep like it's when you do like your most healing and your most growth and your most all of that so maybe it's something to do with that maybe oh my gosh this is just like i, I could talk about things like this all day i think if i didn't want to perform one of the things i'd consider doing would be studying psychology really you could yeah. you could do that 100 <laughs> percent could you imagine if i'm like guys that's it i'm a psychotherapist and that's that's where i'm going <laughs> you know what, that would be really cool actually because i find the human brain extremely fascinating so fascinating oh look somebody had put oh sorry i've just seen this pop up it's oh. fresh in your brain and when you sleep your brain organizes everything oh i'm i missed that comment oh, okay Oh, that is so interesting. Interesting. That's what I mean. It's so powerful. The brain. Like, do you know what? Like, I don't know where I put everything in my brain. <laughs> you know what I mean? You're just too clever. <laughs> like, no, I'm not. <laughs> but I mean, I don't know where, like, you know, like certain information goes. Like, yeah. And I like, so I learned that there's different. There's different sections of a brain. God, we are getting well into this. It is. But apparently there's like different sections of a brain. So there's like your logical brain. And then there's like the brain that's like the creative and the imaginative part of yeah. the brain. They all work in harmony. And sometimes like, I think a lot of reasons why mental health is, is a thing for certain people is because some parts of the brain start to lose trust in the other parts of the brain. Isn't that fascinating before your body, like before you even obviously have like a conscious effort and like your brain is already doing it like with like chemicals and like, yeah, very like, it's yeah, crazy. it's, it's, it's crazy. I tell you, yeah. it's so fascinating. That's I, and that's why I find like things like, you know, like things like brain injuries and like, think like people who like survive them and like be able to like, learn to walk again and learn to do this thing. Like, isn't it crazy that we are able to like, we have like this thing in our head that is able to like learn skills and learn things to survive and you have like an innate inapt like habitual thing do you know what I mean like I don't know it's just yeah it's 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 instinct that was the word I was looking for instinct instinct, instinct. <laughs> it's, it's so fascinating isn't it yeah 
and how like your brain can be also your own worst enemy because I know it's also mine yeah but it but it belongs to me so surely it should be like working in harmony but I know but sometimes it it takes over yeah and isn't that so strange so strange oh my gosh maybe maybe we should be therapists <laughs> maybe, maybe maybe we should <laughs> You know what, I'm actually good at that. I think you would. Oh, thanks. I, I think you'd be it. great. Maybe we should set up our own business. <laughs> <laughs> Could you imagine? What would we call ourselves? What would we call ourselves? Maybe, Maybe something to do with like our star sign because obviously we've got the same birthday. Oh, yeah. Oh, oh. Yeah. That's actually, but you know, I have to have like my thinking. Come on, guys, get your thinking caps yeah, on. Yeah, get your thinking caps on. If me and Maya opened, well, if we started a new business, psychotherapy, or under all those brackets, what would our name be? What would our name be? I do. I would. I would actually like to like maybe like maybe in later in life look into therapy, like as in like the psychology of the brain and yeah. and emotions and mental health and yeah. Obviously, I like. It's fun. It's one thing like going through mental health, but it's another thing actually like knowing what's happening. Do you know what I mean? Yeah, a hundred percent. And it's, like it is like a chemical imbalance, isn't it? It's a lot. Yeah. Of the, it's and and I think you know, as as a lot of people say, we need we need to talk about it more. Yeah, absolutely. Because but, like no um, stigma around. I cause remember a couple of years ago. I remember because I really wanted to go see a therapist, and I was like thinking, oh no, like I can't like it's it's not like nothing's that bad like but it's not about it being bad it's about it's having uh, someone to speak to that has an unbiased opinion on things that yeah. happen in life regardless of whether like because to you something might be like monumental and it, that is completely valid but then when you speak to a therapist and you decompart decompartmentalize the things that are going on in your brain with someone yeah it, it like puts it into perspective and makes you realize that like the things that maybe are going on in your head are not mm -hmm. as loud as you think. And that's what I found. Yeah. In like, and I'm even ashamed to say I was in therapy because it was no. like, and it's not something to be ashamed of either. I think if you mm -hmm. need to seek help, then do it. Like there is yeah. like, bravery in that. Do you know what I mean? A hundred percent. Do you know what I find really, not the right word. I was going to say funny. It's not funny. It's not the right word, but I think, in Britain, there's this massive stigma around like, mm. seeking help or going to a therapist. Whereas, like, it's very interesting. Like, in America, it's like everyone has a therapist because mm. it's just like a thing. And like, yeah, you're right. It's just everyone goes through something, whether it be really, really on a large scale or it be on a small scale. But like, it's good to just like talk to somebody about it, and it's not a bad thing. I don't know why. Like, it seems to be that in in America, like people are like, yeah, I have a therapist. Or, They're like, oh. I this this might be like a good thing it's actually yeah good thing. whereas have... here it's like i'm seeing a therapist i can't talk about it but why not Do you know what yeah I mean? like talk about it like yeah and that's the thing like that will obviously like break down the stigma of it and stuff like that and like the thing like you say like in america like obviously they are so open about like talking about whether they they have therapists or shrinks or, or whoever i remember my auntie she calls her therapist a life coach and like she changes like the language around it because then obviously then people don't go oh she, she's in therapy do you know what I mean like because that's yeah. what the stiff upper lip thing over here isn't it over oh you're speaking about your feelings but no yeah. let's speak about our feelings especially like men as well men and boys and oh my god yeah and, I feel very strongly about that one yeah and whoever like, whatever and whoever you are like if you need the help like seek the help don't ever feel like you're alone and and yeah. just talk to because that's what it that's what it is like your brain can so like isolate you and isn't that so weird because it is a part of you i weird. know but it is so true i think i think yeah and also like nine times out of ten what you're feeling someone else even your friend is feeling it on a big scale or a small scale like mm -hmm. i think it's it's such a shame that it's we need to we need to change the stigma because we need to, we need to change the system around it and i, yeah. I think like more because i my, my friend's a school teacher and a lot more like mental health things are being like 
instilled into the curriculum but like there is so much more because even she says like in her classroom in particular they've put up a little tent and they've called it like the time out tent and any child can like go in there at any time of the day if they need it and they can go and sit in there and there's like things that to do in there that are creative Aww. or like it's just an outlet for them to like have some time off and she said that she's found that's been like a really positive thing in the classroom of people that like because some kids just get overwhelmed and they don't know how to talk about the feelings yeah out room and she'll go over and give them time give them space and because that's the thing like children are little adults do you know what I mean like they just need that that we do yeah especially in school like that is a horrible place Mm. to be for some people so I think that's amazing yeah there's definitely more to be done (laughs) done. and I think as well like we you shouldn't put people in a bracket of, of certain things that people as in like you've got this you are diagnosed with this because i think there's like a scale and like it's it's so do you know what i mean it's so no one should be put in a box or no one should be be felt like they're yeah that thing defined as that thing like it's the thing i find with like i know obviously i've I've never suffered with anything say like uh, neurological um but the the thing of like what i what i find people with like say autism or age like fascinating because it's like you see the world in such a different way like i want to yeah like, see how you see the world do you know what i mean yeah so I, it's so true. I never, like you say you should never put someone in like when someone says oh i've got autism you should never be like oh well we know what someone with autism is like oh they're just naughty like it's not that yeah and i hate that whole thing around like things to do with like behave like behavioral disorders or what I, i'm not too sure of like the particular right correct term but to to get the, to end the stigma around that as well of like yeah. they see the world in a different way and that's not bad we all see the world through our own two eyes and just how they see it might be a lot more vibrant might might not be yeah. like i just i just want to like tap into and probably get to know more people who have these sorts of I don't even know what you coin the terms as, but just to like see how they see the world, I find it fascinating. I find it fascinating, and I think like it's obviously so scary. Like we've had so many conversations just between us, haven't we? About like it's so scary talking about how you feel and, and being honest, and mm. and I think it's very British as well to like not just say things because it's scary and 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 all of those things. But the relief that you feel after, like, is yeah like oh my gosh I think we need to get rid of that thing as well and like it's the, it's the British okay. thing it definitely is like and I'd, I'd obviously say that's sort of universal but like definitely over here like people just don't talk about their emotions in yeah. like a way that is like I don't know like we because we've spoken like so many times about like feelings and things like that and obviously like the the initial like blow is like oh but then once it's done because you end up like overthinking it, and that's the thing we yeah. are century we are a generation of overthinkers 100 yeah. 100 i am the the, the worst like mm. the worst like, Me too. such a state about tiny little things that i'm already assuming somebody's thinking before i've even done the thing like it's awful now nah, do you so basically i do this thing right i'm a psychopath and i will i will label myself as a psychopath right <laughs> so i will sit like not in bed just like sit like in my own thoughts i will sit and i will like create scenarios i'm really out in myself here crenate <laughs> crenate 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 i will <laughs> create scenarios in my head and literally near enough convince myself that they are true so i can convince myself of like honestly anything the power of the mind it scares yeah. me sometimes because I will literally like I can literally wake up in the morning and have like a thought and then I'm manifesting and then I'm angry and I'm like, Mayo, that's not even happened. <laughs> <laughs> What's wrong with you? What are you doing? I, oh my gosh, <laughs> I'm the same. Especially I feel like with texting, like obviously we're a generation that texts, that go on WhatsApp, mm. that like aren't somebody that my parents are always like, just pick up the phone and call. I know. But I'm like, no, it's not really that vibe. Like, but I will send somebody a message and it could be like something so simple and then if i haven't had a reply i think oh my gosh they hate me they've read this message in a certain way oh my yeah. god they think this of me and get myself in such a down spiral that i just i feel sick <laughs> and like and then they'll reply an hour later and be like sorry yeah like do you know what i mean something so normal and i'm like oh. and there's me i've just like had a massive panic attack for the past hour 
thinking that we're never ever going to be friends again. <laughs> yeah, literally. Like, that is the thing about so texting. And also, we are a generation of, like, voice noters, and I am not really a voice noter. And I've got to say, if you voice note me with a single voice note on its own, it's probably going to take me three to ten working days to get back to you because <laughs> can't. It's just <laughs> I do, I do love a voice now. I do love a voice. But me and Amy once said once, it's so funny, like, when you see, you receive a voice note that's like one minute and above, you're like, oh, got to brace myself for that one. <laughs> oh, 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 dear. Oh. I remember a friend said it's before, one minute. I was like, oh, no, something really bad has happened. And it was just generally like a life catch up. And I was like, oh, wow. Oh, it's okay. <laughs> <laughs> Oh my god, a voice note! I, it is so much easier though. A voice note. My my parents still can't get their head around what's the difference between a voice note and when I'm on the phone. <laughs> Love them so much, and I was I was sending like a voice note back and forth, and then they asked, then I said I asked them a question, and they didn't reply, and I was like, "Hello, <laughs> I'm talking to you," and they were like, "I thought you were on the phone." I was like, "No, it's a voice note." <laughs> See, I do, I do enjoy sometimes voice notes, but that's only from like a voice note combo. If someone like opens a conversation with a voice note that's over a minute, I start to sweat. And I start... <laughs> the panic, like... <laughs> yeah, and I think to myself, okay, five days I'll reply. <laughs> <laughs> oh my God, it's so funny. Voice nice. notes. Oh God, we have literally... I know we have we have covered ground. Yeah. Oh my god, it's covered it's ground. I didn't realize. Like all of a sudden, it's just got very very dark. I know. I, I've I've noticed that. I suddenly like my face is getting like darker and darker. I know. I, my I, good. I, to be fair, I'm looking out and it is getting like duskier. Yeah, it's it's quite dark now. I've lost track of days. I can't believe it's Saturday. I know. Actually, like I know. I know. Oh, what? What? what the weeks go so quickly i know very much that like yeah it just flies yeah <laughs> i don't it literally even, like, flies by it's so what i do love on a saturday though what catchphrase <laughs> <laughs> that's how you know it's saturday because of the programs that are on that's brilliant oh, no. my mom went earlier oh something about catchphrase and i was like yes catchphrase is on <laughs> That's it's Saturday. <laughs> Saturday catchphrase day. <laughs> my, friend, my friend said to me that, like before we were all talking on the ch group chat, and we were talking about like this um, like I think I can't even, I don't even know where it is from me, but it's like it's like this national park type thing. And at the minute you book to go, this is like a diverged story, but you've got a book to go. Yeah. And I said to her, I was like, oh my god, I didn't even realize you had to book. Like what the hell? And she and then she was like, oh, have you, have you booked for the weekend? And I was like, well, no, I'm going to go in the weekend. I was like. Hang on a minute, we don't, I was like, me and Jack don't work, so of course we can go on the weekend. Like, you work? I was like, no wonder you know when it's the weekend. I don't yeah. know. <laughs> That's so true. A lot of people that have, like, office jobs or, like, regular jobs, I guess, like, they're on track, but we don't. <laughs> yeah. Like, live for the weekend, and I'm just like, is it Tuesday or is it Sunday? I actually, I'm not too sure. I'm not too sure. I have to write everything in my phone so I know, like, dates rather than, like, yeah. days, because, yeah. Yeah. But actually, now on that note, I'm going to pick up some pizza for the evening. So oh, fantastic. I'm gonna have to leave you straight off. Oh, do you know what? I'm having a curry tonight too and I'm buzzing about it. <laughs> pizza and curry night. Curry day. Yeah, we're getting a pizza from this place in town. They're doing like takeaways. Oh great. So I'm gonna go to town and pick up a pizza. Oh, do you know what? What have you got on top on your toppings? Um, I've not um, ordered it yet because I'm gonna go pick. I'm gonna go like because you go and like okay. order. Your... Okay, okay, yeah. Um, yeah. Then bring it out to you and you're like, thank you. Oh. So I, I'm gonna get my my like go to is like I love peppers, red onions, and jalapenos. Right. So they're like they're like my three that go on a pizza. Okay. But I have to be careful with jalapenos because it feels like acid inside my stomach sometimes, and it really hurts. <laughs> I was going to say, that is a hot pizza. It's a hot pizza. I, I might have to ask for less. Do you know what I mean? Yeah, just a little a little sprinkling. Just a sprinkling. Just a sprinkling. <laughs> <laughs> well, do you know what? You enjoy your pizza, my love. 
And you enjoy your curry alone. Thank you. Thank you for everyone coming to join our therapy sessions. Yeah, our therapy session, peace session, the talking about the brain and all that, you know what I mean? Talking about the brain and mental health. And yeah, basically the moral of tonight is always talk about your feelings. Yep. How's and that? it's not eat them. <laughs> no, it's not. Eat a big korma and put their feelings in it. Yes. And then talk about your feelings. <laughs> and then do it, yeah. Good night, love you. Bye, love everyone. You. Bye. Bye. <laughs>